In today's video, I'm going to show you three tips to help your websites load faster. Now, I know a few months ago, Wix recently released an update to help all websites load a little bit faster. However, there are still a few things on our end that we can do to help make sure our websites load quickly. But before I get started, I do want to mention that we are on the road to our first 5,000 subscribers. So if you are new around here or you've been watching for a while, I want to challenge you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would really help out a lot. But now let's get back to the tutorial. The first tip I will say is that having too many animations on your website can drastically lower your website speed. If I preview the website, you're going to notice that everything kind of jumps into place for a second before it actually loads. However, if we have a different page, which only has minimal animations, maybe just for like the main title and maybe a few elements, then the site actually loads a lot faster and looks a lot cleaner. Not only does having too many animations slow down the website, but it's also very distracting to your users. The second tip I'll give you is image size and video size. When I first press preview on this website, you're going to notice that this video takes a second before it actually starts. And in some cases, the video won't even be there until it's fully loaded. And the same thing goes for images as well. For videos, I usually like to compress the videos down quite a bit. So I actually use a software called Media Encoder. This compression software is available in the Adobe Creative Cloud. However, if you don't have it, I suggest you go look up online like a free video compression software because I am sure that there are plenty of them out there. If we look at the original video file, you're going to notice that this is going to be 44 megabytes which sometimes can really slow down the load speed. Ideally, you really don't want anything over 25 megabytes. So after the compression, it basically cut it in half. So now it's down to 22.6. And of course, some images are also really big. So what I would do is come over to this imagecompressor.com. I would just drag in this photo and you're gonna see that it compressed it down by 76%, which as you can see right here down below, it went from 4.5 megabytes to 1.1, and there is no huge quality difference in between both of them. So now I can just download that, come back over to the editor, and I can just replace this background video and the background image with the lower file size versions of them. And now when I preview, it loads a lot faster. And again, the more images you have on the page, the more you should compress your images and videos because that is more for those pages to load. If you have tons of images on your website, then your page is already gonna load somewhat slower. So you wanna make sure that you compress your all of your images and all of your videos as much as possible to make sure that Wix doesn't take as long to load those elements. And the last tip to help improve your Wix website load speed is the amount of pages you have. Now, if I come over to the about page, you're going to see that there is a team section. And let's say you wanted your users to be able to click this button and go to a dedicated page for this user. And I have seen this mistake a lot, but I have seen a lot of people just create tons of pages like this for each person that works at the company. However, that's not the best way to go about it because as you can see here, we have 14 different full-blown pages for each one of the members on the website. And not only would you have to duplicate a page and fill out all the content, you would also have to come over to the about page and manually add that person here as well. That is so much extra work that you don't even have to do. Instead, what you could do is come over to add. You can come over to content manager and press add to site. And basically what the content management is, it's basically like a database that will automatically fill out stuff for us. So now it's going to give us an option to choose a different kind of collection. We can either create our own or we can just choose a pre-built one. Let's just go ahead and choose the team one. Let's go ahead and press add to site. When you first add the database to your Wix website, you're gonna notice a few things. The first thing you're gonna notice is like a spreadsheet full of content. Now, if you do this for yourself, of course, you wanna come in here and change all this information, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. The next thing you're gonna notice is that if we go to the pages icon, you're gonna notice that it added this section right here called dynamic pages and it also added two of them for team. Added team all and team name. Now, since 
the about page already has a section for the team members. We do not need the team all page, so we can just delete that. However, if you just want a dedicated page to show off all your team, then you can just leave that if you want. But the cool thing about dynamic pages, if I click on this, you're gonna see that it's just one page, but I can actually cycle through everyone in that spreadsheet that I showed. So it's basically one design, but all of the content on the page is coming from the database spreadsheet right here. So if you ever want to add or edit any of the team members, you no longer have to add a new page. You just come over here and add a new member. And to make sure that this works correctly on your website, come over to content management section, add content elements and add a data set. Next, let's go ahead and connect this data set to the team section. And then we can come over to this repeater. We can connect this image to the photo in the data set. We can connect this name to the name in the data set. We can connect their position to the job title in the data set. And then we can also connect this button to their dynamic page. So now if I preview it and click view more, it's going to take me to Brian Chung's dynamic page. That means we no longer need individual pages for each team member. We just need one dynamic page and we just need a database to fill it out. And when we fill out this database, not only will it create a new dynamic page for us, but it will also add a new item in the repeater here as well. So that basically gets rid of all of these individual pages that's gonna slow down our website. If you'd like to learn more about CMS and dynamic pages, I do have a tutorial about that and that will be linked in the description below. I highly suggest using that whenever you can, so that way you're not using tons of different pages slowing down your website. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please like the video and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.